What's up everyone? Welcome back to another Stronghold Crusader 2v2 video. Today we have Philip and Wazir versus the Abbot and Nazir. Um, this is round 7, game 2. Only two more games to complete our tournament after this. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this game. In the bottom lane, we will be seeing the Abbot face off against um, King Philip here. Should be a very interesting game um, as Philip decides to build his castle backwards. Love to see that. Um, God, dude, this AIV files are these these the Avery improved AIVs. I'm I'm about done with them. Um, so many flaws in the castles. In the top, we will be seeing Wazir versus um, Nazir, the brothers. I like to call them just because their name sounds so similar. Also, same troop composition, same kind of eco builds, except we do see ale for the Nazir and not for the Wazir. Um, was your sighting go strictly on bread um, as we get to watch Philip's early game attempt to keep him in this match here as he tries to take down the Abbot trying to start his chapels on fire there um, Abbot looking like he's gonna be shooting back now here first attack out for him good for him I believe he's probably gonna absolutely destroy Philip here considering this guy's got his castles built the the wrong way <laughs> I mean, I, I really don't know what to do. I guess he's really just protecting his food. Um, this is the second or third time this has happened in the tournament. I'm really just kind of sick of it. Are seeing a raiding party, though, from Philip. I bet his buddy is really liking that, Wazir. Um, as Wazir is in a pretty solid castle here, it looks like. Sending out an attack. It's really just a base raise here for our two bigger lords. Um, and really anything could happen as the abbot... Getting up in full swing here, not really a bad attack already. Good number of swordsmen um, did meet Philip's attack in the field there, but Philip does have knights, probably going to be able to defend this here. But looking pretty dangerous for Philip as his gate goes closed and all of his eco shuts down, and the abbot is just building up money. It is looking like he's having um, trouble sustaining the, the population here. Maybe a few more would be nice. Hopefully he'll get down all these trees soon. And that'll clear up a few extra spaces. Nazir's base is on fire. Um, known to happen in this spot from actually himself setting off his own pitch. So <laughs> that could be a potential possibility. Um, unfortunately, we will not be using this AIV file for the next tournament. <laughs> or fortunately, I guess I should say here as um, Philip launching a pretty good attack here on Abbott. Nothing really to kill him, but definitely a little setback, something, you know, maybe hold him back to score. He's an inn and a church. Good for Philip. Didn't really expect to see it as we see another fire start in the Nazir's base. I'm really interested to see if this is his doing or if it's someone else's. We can watch here just for a little bit um, as another raid comes over for Philip. And another attack here from the Wazir. Interested to see Horse archers are in. Assassins going towards the abbot's base. I bet Philip loves that as the catapults are in. And there the fire did start. I'm not sure if it was from the fire ballistas or not. I want to say yes because they are shooting over the wall. So must be doing well. Philip with another attack. Abbot not looking the absolute best here. Let's go ahead and check our order of merit. Abbot is in first with the Nazir in last. This is how you know it's a good game. <laughs> is, when this, is, is when this is happening. And Abbot on the attack here. Let's see if he can get something. Wazir also attacking, trying to clean up Nazir. Who is going to win? That is a lot of swordsmen this time. Can Philip hold? I'm not sure he can. That is a pretty good number of swordsmen. It's going to be either this one or the next one. Wazir needs to get a move on here with Nazir. He needs to kill them because as soon as the Abbot starts launching his endless assault, um, it's going to be dead. And this whole time, Abbot, 8,000 gold. That eco going absolutely insane. Love to see it. Should be building quite quickly after that last attack. A um, new, new, new attack to come soon here. Philip. Eco is absolutely dead. Attack here from Wazir. Fire taking out those horsemen. Looking pretty good here. Um, looks to me like he is going to be holding on. Actually sending out an attack of his own here. Might actually do him well to take out some of the siege. Or at least distract the siege. Or I guess there's not really do much. <laughs> was you're gonna be putting up a fight here for sure. 
It is interesting though to see um, you know, the inefficiency of Nazir's base here, just absolutely um, horrible. As we do see an attack here coming in from Philip, should be interesting. As the as the knights are also over in the raid, church, chapel, in they all go down. Um, Abbott's got a lot of guys though. I don't I don't really think he needs to worry. As Wazir's assassins do come over, not gonna looking like they're gonna do anything. But Nazir is looking like he is in trouble here a little bit. That's a lot of catapults. That is also some Arabian Knights that did finally scratch the surface of that castle. These attacks are getting more vicious from Wazir to Nazir. Um, shutting him down just a little bit more. Something that we definitely like to see. Um, something that he definitely needs to keep doing here. Wazir definitely needing to pick up Abbott. 14,000 gold. Does look like he's not squeezing out enough peasants. It's probably at like a one or two here. Um, He's got a lot of lumberjacks. He should get this wood down. That would really open up for him. And Philip, another attack here. Abbott's got enough men, though, to where if he even does get in. Oh, and Wazir's assassin's finally getting in with a little bit of cover here. Not able to open up that gate, though. Does look like the Abbott is taking just a bit of a beating as almost all the trees are done for him. That will be very powerful. Staying out an attack of his own. This could be the end of King Philip. As King Philip just attacked, he doesn't have the resources or the money to defend this. Yeah, I'd, I'd say your plans are in tatters as well, too. I don't know how he's going to defend this. Um, an opening has been created. Does he have enough swordsmen to complete it? I think he's going to touch the king. I'm not sure about a kill. It does look like Philip is going to hold on <laughs> by a singular thread there. Did not expect it. Let's watch the rebuild process here because he has nothing at all. No wood. No peasants to get him wood. And Abbott is going to be attacking soon here. Again, he has the money. Um, he just kind of needs those peasants. I don't know what he needs. There he goes. Finally gets down a house. Is producing those peasants. That is what he needed. Um, Abbott shoving over a fire ballista or two. Keeping the pressure on, we love to see it. Nazir able to also put some pressure on. Wazir with the counter attack though, this needs to happen for Wazir right now. Love to see the Nazir in panic. The assassins are going to the right place, that is a problem. Fortunately, um, he'll never be able to snipe Abbott that way. As the Arabian swordsmen are going to make a run for it, it's not going to be enough. Philip looking to hopefully get back here. Abbott, 20k gold, really getting stacked up there. He needs this peasant space for sure. Um, as soon as that comes, he'll maybe more than have one or two on retainer where he physically can't buy them fast enough. We can think we can thank the AIV file for that. Look at this little glitch here. We get to see the doorway. Cool. Love that too. And Abbott, uh, this is the the end of Philip here. Um, yeah, there's there's no way. Also with the siege tower. You're just begging to be slayed. Abbott, first kill of the game. Um, not really a big surprise here. Um, Wazir into a 2v1. Now, old Wazir put, the, put him into this 2v1, and I think he takes it. Unfortunately, with our community patch, um, Abbott is quite strong. Can Wazir knock back right now? He needs to. He needs to end this. I don't know how many traps he's got in there. There they go. Not enough. Nazir is pretty down, but not dead. Wazir just needs to focus. Start focusing his attacks. Love to see Wazir using the assassins here to raid the eco. Keeping Nazir down. Fantastic. You know, that's something we hardly see with the um, with the AIs. Something that they could definitely improve on. Keep raiding that eco. That really shuts them down and have it. Huge attack here coming. Um, Wazir finally getting his first taste of battle is going to be setting him back just a little bit if it doesn't kill him, honestly. Um, I'm just kidding. Um, he has a lot of fire here, but that is just so much men from Abbott and empowered men too. Um, fire really doing well for him. Fire able to keep him alive here. However, has shut down his eco, has shut down his production. Not totally, but a substantial amount where... He definitely is suffering a little bit, and this game may not go on much longer as the Abbot still 
has not spent all of that gold. He's going to be building up just another attack here. Does have that extra pop space now with the Lumberjacks down. And you can see he is buying men just as fast as he can. Remember, he's also buying swords, pikes, and armor to equip all these men. Nazir trying to make a comeback. Nice to see Wazir's assassins holding him down here. Look at this. Oh, and we do see some wood here from Abbott. He is trying to get some. Uh, maybe not Maybe not the best thing he should be doing. Um, is losing gold, though. That's nice to see. Um, finally is able to keep up there production-wise. As uh, Wazir still placed above uh, Nazir. And he does. He does have... Um, he has men. He has 300 men. As we do see the Abbot launch another attack. Maybe not as good as the other one. I don't know if he has as many men. Wazir launching that counter attack. Not really a bad thing. Assassins going in. Uh, this could be the end. Those assassins are going to clear out that trap. They also move just a little bit faster. They are going to get up by the king. It does look like. Um, aren't enough to finish the job though. Can the Arabian Knights do it? It's not as big as a company as you'd like to see, simply because they do it, did have to battle the Abbot's men in the field. Totally fine though, they are going to be making it. Health is looking good on some of them. Is it enough? It is not enough. Yellow health here for the Nazir. He needs something. Um, you know, here comes the Wazir doing a great job of holding him down in place. Um, Abbot's archers here coming in clutch. If those were not there for him, and two assassins going, gonna be holding him down. Iron down. Love to see him destroy the Merc post as well. Archers, trying to do their best to defend, is able to. Nice. Oh, this game is very interesting. As we do have. Oh! Wow! Great attack timing here by Wazir. Looking to finish the job that is going to finish him. Wazir saying. He's not out of this game yet, looking to take a 2v1, possibly winning as well. I mean, this is no joke. You have to, re you have to remember that um, the Abbott's defenses aren't really the best. We have seen him bested when a better offensive player has come. However, his eco is always a contender. Um, his melee units are always a contender as well. He never fails or falls short in that aspect. Would have been interesting to see what would have happened if Philip orientated his castle the right way. Um, possibly a little bit of a different output there. Maybe survived a little bit longer. However, I, I, I do find that very doubtful as the habit just sends hordes of men here. As they all walk into the fire. And that front gate is down. Would like to see a crash there. Um, Abbott with a good number of men though, looking like he's able to clear it out, but here come the bulk of the swordsmen. Something that I would definitely be a little bit scared about as they do start walking. That fire though, clutching, they are up, and let's see how much damage they did. Yellow health there for, yellow health there for the Wazir, he's getting close. <laughs> um, and we see a nice boom by Abbott already up above the Wazir again, and this is just the flow that the Abbott gets into, of just being able to hit you so hard that you can't recover an attack in time. Wazir will get some men, but... We just see a higher rate of production coming from the Abbot. And that just all comes down to this this four in eco. Um, easily a plus four for religion. I think this alone is plus three, plus one, plus one, probably plus another one, so probably plus six on religion. And then not to mention his happiness factor, which doesn't really go along with his personality at all because he does seem like he's kind of an extremist monk who's uh, a dick. So, I mean, I guess, really can't say. Love to see him have some sitting peasants now. Good for him. Eco is in full boom, that is for sure. Love to see um, Wazir here looking like he's not really catching up on the... They look about even rate of production-wise. However, I would say that the Abbot's men are actually better. Abbot looking to throw in another attack. They shouldn't do as well as the other attack. Um, Abbot has... Or, sorry, Wazir has more men defending. I do think that after this attack, we will cut. Um, Counter-attack coming in for the Wazir. Maybe not something you want to do here. Or maybe something you do want to do. I mean, I guess I really can't say. Um, let's go watch this counter-attack. It's a good number of Arabian swordsmen. Um, it does look like Abbott's attack will fail. 
he needs to get in. He was not able to get in. That is unfortunate. That could have been really good for either one of them. Fortunately, it amounted to nothing, and we're going to go ahead and cut the video here. 506 troop attack against the 360. Abbott is pounding the Wazir. Wazir has not attacked in a while. Um, we'll see how it does. He's been touching the king every time here. He should be able to end this game soon. He is just in the swing of things. I'm looking so powerful as the troops go in and up on the double here. We are going to see a good stack of troops coming in. There goes that initial fire. Need that to go down. The king is getting hit. The king on red. The king does go down. Um, great match here. Very close. Um, Wazir not going down without a fight. We do like to see that. It is unfortunate. Wazir, man of the match. Totally agree with that. Um, really just trying to keep, um, carry King Philip there. Unfortunately, just not able to. We do see he is probably put up eco-wise. He is probably put up with just barely being under the yeah, abbot. Definitely been able to do a lot better, a lot better um, ego wise than other lords in that aspect. Than you know, trying to stay up with um, the abbot. Unfortunately, I just wasn't able to defend and still attack against those European strong troops coming in, um, especially with the bonus plus two they received from the happiness factor. Nice to see um, King Philip making more gold than Nazir, though. Funny. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into a bracket update. We are in the bracket update with some lovely um, RuneScape world ads. Um, love to see it. It is updated. Does look like um, a 4 and 3 finish for the Abbot and a 4 and 3 finish for Wazir and Philip. So I ended up finishing tied, which is kind of crazy. Um, but Abbott and Nazir is ranked above, above Wazir and Philip just because they did manage to beat them. So, and it does, wait, to be determined. Wait, what is TB? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. okay, so this is just the number of matches win against a tied opponent. Oh, that's cool that it adds in that stat there. Love to see that. So that's why they are above it. We will be seeing if um, Shale or Sheriff and Caleb will be joining them in that four and three match and then we also have our last game for huh, Saladin and Rath. Um, interested to see what what happens there and it looks like they're going against the Emir Marshall the 0 and 6 so the 6 and 0 is going against the 0 and 6 um, yeah that'll be an interesting next game I don't want to say that Saladin is just gonna rack both of them but I'm not gonna say that he's not gonna do that and then for our last game, we do have Sheriff and Caliph versus Wolf and Sultan. Wolf and Sultan is in our second place. Um, has only been able to win the one game where Wolf has been able to 1v2. I mean, Sultan is a very heavy carry. Sorry, my mistake. Wolf is a very heavy carry for Sultan. As always, um, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.